Hey guys, Chris here with The Good Old Gamer. So in the last video, we talked a lot about older games and retro games, and I saw a lot of comments out there about basically how do I get this to run, or you should do a video about how to get this game to run. So yesterday, I went ahead and actually proposed that question to you guys, and I asked what games are you guys actually having trouble running on modern hardware? And the first one that really stood out was Fallout 3 on Steam. Seems a lot of you guys were having a lot of issues getting this game to run. And luckily, I have this game, so I was able to go ahead and test this out. So, let's go ahead and see what it will take to get Fallout 3, the Steam version, to run on Windows 10. So to start off, I did a fresh install, and lo and behold, after we got through all of that, it just crashes and nothing happens and obviously this isn't a good thing so the first thing I always do is go and check the compatibility go ahead and set it to Windows XP Service Pack 2 and went ahead and set it to run as admin so once we do that we notice this pops up and looks like we're missing XLive DLL and then there it is, glaring us right in the face. We have a Games for Windows Live folder inside of our Fallout 3 folder here. Now, obviously, we don't use Games for Windows Live anymore, but this was part of the package back when Fallout 3 came out. So doing a quick little Google search, we go for Games for Windows Live download. Okay, we get a link here over to Microsoft's website. By the way, this link will be in the description below as, well, makes things a little bit easier for you guys. Once you get in here, you're gonna see if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, blah, 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 or Windows 10. Now, obviously, we're trying to get this to run on Windows 10, but ignore what it says there, and click on the link in the Windows 7, Windows 8 version, and this will start the download for the Games for Windows Live launcher. Now, interestingly enough, I have a, a Microsoft account, so for me, this isn't a big deal, and I could log in, but I wanted to see what happens if you don't log in. You just download Games for Windows Live, do nothing with it. So that's what I did. And then let's try out Fallout and see if that will work. Lo and behold, there it is. Fallout 3 on Steam, now working just fine. And all I had to do was just install the games for Windows Live, not even log in or do anything with it, just have the DLL inside of uh, Windows here. And that's all it takes to get this game running. Now, several of you also said you were having issues with Fallout New Vegas. But unlike Fallout 3, which I could replicate the problem, I had no issues getting uh, Fallout New Vegas running off of Steam. Now, if you have the GOG version of this game, uh, of either of these games, it just works and you don't have to mess with this. But on the Steam version for Fallout 3, at the very least, you just need to download the Games for Windows Live package. I guess you can just delete it out of your system, just leave the DLLs inside of Windows, and that's all you really need. Now, there are other retro games that will need that, so if you're gonna be playing any other games that are games for Windows Live, you might as well just leave it installed because you may need it later anyway. Well, alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. This has just been the retro quick fix of the day here. And uh, yeah, I, I found this kind of fun and interesting. Luckily, I had the software on hand. Now, other games out there may also be having some issues. If you happen to know of any, please leave them in the comment section down below. Now, I'm probably only going to be targeting bigger titles, games that you know most people are going to be playing, and if I have them on hand, I will be able to test them out. But this is something I'd like to continue doing moving forward. Just let me know what out there is causing you problems, and hopefully I can get to those sooner or later. Now, if you guys want to help me out here, I don't have access to every game ever. Uh, I mean, bigger titles I do have, but I don't have all of the games in the world. So I went ahead and added a donate button since I'm not going to be supporting Patreon. Uh, I have set up with PayPal that you guys can just donate directly to me. You can make this reoccurring. You can set whatever amount that you want. You just pop in there. You just want to do a buck. I mean, I guess you could do 10 cents if you want to, but if you want to just do a dollar, just make it monthly, hit next, and that will really help me out and get games on hand. You can also send me a message when you do donate, so this way you can be like, hey, maybe you should check out game X, Y, or Z, and that would be super helpful. Uh, this will also help me get different hardware on hand, so this way I can do more hands-on testing. 
And until there's a true Patreon competitor out there, this is probably the way that I'm going to do things, and this is the way that I'm going to be able to get new games and new tech on hands. And thank you so much for even considering supporting me. So, alrighty, guys, that's it for today. Um, like I said, just let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. That one happened to be super easy. Great. Uh, but bring it on. If you have any games that have been causing you problems, let's keep the retro games going. They can work on modern hardware. Some are trickier to get than others. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If this helped you out, please let me know down in the comment section below. That's awesome. And that's all I have for today. And I will catch you guys in the next video.